What are you doing this for? Look at you. Quiet, I'm trying to get a picture. But you don't have to do this. The guy is waiting in my house. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's a one-time fee, 150 bucks. Why live like this? I'm not getting a legal cable. So this is okay, isn't it? I mean, everybody does it, right? What? Oh, hey, if you're having second thoughts, just read this pamphlet. So you've decided to steal cable. Uh-huh. Myth. Cable piracy is wrong. Fact. Cable companies are big, faceless corporations, which makes it okay. <laughs> you know, industry sources say that nearly half the homes hooked up to cable are ripping off the signal. Oh, sure, you may save 20, 30 bucks a month, maybe more if you get some of the pay-per-view events, but getting caught will cost... Because of the Cable Act of 1992, the use of unauthorized equipment or service can be a felony, punishable by a fine of $50,000 and two years in prison for the first offense. There are a few exceptions. First, the signal has to be scrambled, what they call encrypted, or the law doesn't apply. I guess that means the home shopping channel is up for grabs. <laughs> See, the clown is a treasure that will last a lifetime. Cable, and you get the it's more wonderful than I yourself. dared hope. As cable covers more and more of the country, more time and money is going to be spent catching cable crooks. Knowing your risk and the price you may pay if you get caught will give you the legal edge. I get service calls like this all the time. Guy down the street makes an illegal cable connection, and all of a sudden, your picture isn't what it used to be. Illegal connections and receivers can leak signal and play havoc with reception all through the neighborhood. Think about it. They steal cable, and your picture gets messed up. Victimless crime? What do you think? So we were watching fucking Stolen Cable with nice. my friend Billy one day. We're sitting there, and we keep hearing this beep, beep, beep. Well, what the fuck is that noise? And it's slowly getting louder and louder. And eventually we look out the window, and there's a dude like a yard over with like a fucking science fiction contraption with antennas and stuff <laughs> walking around, like looking at houses. <laughs> and it's going beep. Beep. And as he, he we watch him for a moment, like, what is this asshole doing? And it gets closer and closer, <laughs> and he gets into Billy's backyard, and it starts going beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and he looks up at the house, and we're looking out of the window, and Billy just reached over and unplugged the TV and the cable <laughs> box, and it goes beep, beep. And the guy goes, <laughs> he like shakes it for a second, and he looks around, and he's like, huh. And he just turned around and walked the other way. <laughs> <laughs> then lead investigator Robert Boyd follows and disconnects the pirated service. He says it's common theft, plain and simple. It's the same as walking into to Walmart and walking out with three CDs, three DVDs every month. Mr. Steinfeld? Seinfeld. We're with the FBI. You want to tell us about your cable hookup? <laughs> Ah! You Homer Simpson? Yeah. We're on the street. Is that you have an illegal cable hook? No, no, I, I wasn't me. It was, it was my wife's, my wife's idea. Yeah, yeah. I was never. I hey, 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 settle down, big fella. Oh, just, whoa, we're just wondering if we could watch the fight. Oh, sure, sure. Be my guest.